today's messengers are relationship harmony, music, and books. Good morning. Welcome back to the Daily Vitamin, where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. Well, hey, gang. Hey, how you doing today? Are you feeling pretty? Are you feeling cute? Good, because you are. <laughs> I hope that you're feeling it, because you are. You are. Let's dig on in. So this relationship harmony card is actually bringing me to, this doesn't necessarily have to represent your primary relationship in your life. It could. It could. But this feels like relationship harmony overall. Uh, this is making me feel as if maybe you are, or you have been. It feels like maybe, you know, incrementally, you have been moving out of complete isolation, <laughs> right? Complete hermitage. <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe you've been living in your little hobbit hole, you know, 50 miles outside of town, alone on the mountain, doing your spiritual pilgrimage for a while. And it feels like that you have incrementally been seen. I'm hearing there's sightings. There's been sightings of you. So, you know, maybe you've been starting to get more social. You've been getting out there again. You've been connecting with others. You've been putting yourself out there. Um, there is a sense here of maybe like restoring relationships or um, cause I'm picturing like a binary star. Like there's, there's an orbit, right? Two stars sharing the same orbit. And every once in a while, the two stars will come close to collision. They will never fully collide but there is a sense of you like brushing up against people that maybe, maybe you have those friends. I know I do. I have people in my life that like, we don't talk for, you know, a year, five years, 10 years. And it's like, you pick up the phone or you, you know, you vox each other and it's just like, you never skip a beat, you know, it's just like filling in the details of everything that's happened since. But there's a sense here of like you moving closer to you know, relations again, there's a sense of like harmony, you actually feeling peaceful in relationships where maybe previously, you know, you, you could have been on this, this pilgrimage on this vision quest, um, in this isolation period because you were fraught with anxiety from relationships. So maybe you were healing or recovering from a relationship that went sour or, um, you know, healing childhood wounds that, you know, often derive from our relationships with our family, with our parents and siblings and whoever was around us early on in life. So there's a sense here of like your relationship reality taking a turn for the better and you moving closer into experiencing, you know, equal reciprocity, um, feeling like on the same page, feeling seen, validated, understood, feeling heard, uh, feeling considered. Um, I just heard we're all doing our best. So, you know, sometimes, you know, people make mistakes and that's okay. We're all human. We're all learning. Everything is just a perpetual freaking lesson in this world, it seems. So it just, it does seem like there might be a couple bumps and snags here and there. But overall, for the most part, there's a sense of you actually deriving happiness and joy and security and peace and comfort from these relationships that are being, I'm hearing solidified right now. I also want to say that the angels are making it very clear that there's a very, I'll say conscientious, conscious choice about who has access to you right now. So there's a sense of like you, you may have been like, you know, two ships passing in the night with a couple people, you know what I mean? Like maybe you like couldn't get a date to line up to hang out or um, you just couldn't find time to connect or whatever. Like there's something where it's like s specific connections, like specific people you have not been able to connect with you haven't been able to chat or bond or get close with or spend time around and what I'm hearing is it's for good reason there's a reason there's a reason that people have not been able to access you um, which may feel unfortunate and bittersweet because there might be part of you that's like oh it's too bad it's too bad that you know that's a person that my angels have to protect me from right um, but, but there's a sense of like 
<laughs> they're saying for your consideration like we're doing this for your consideration so there may be something with that person with that relationship what have you i feel like at this stage in the game you are trusting your spiritual team to like look out for you and have your best interest at heart so i do feel that there's a trust there but there may be a sense of like oh it's too bad you know it's too bad that that person didn't make the cut so to speak which <coughs> excuse me is highlighting those people that have made the cut the people that are in your life that you do have time for or they are in your circle or they are showing up or they are taking initiative right there's a sense of like it's very very clear energetically practically pragmatically who has been given the green light like who's been given the thumbs up like it's they're showing me like you know the old grecian royalty you know the thumbs up thumbs down like do they get the yay or do they get the nay and i feel like some people have gotten the yay they've gotten the pass to be in your life and others have not however this um inclusion shall i say of the relationships in your life it, they're here because they love you and because they like you and because they support you and they support what you're doing and they believe in you and them being in your life these relationships being a reality are not taking them away from what you need to focus on that's why they get the pass. That's why they are allowed in. They're not bringing you down. They're not um, trying to reconnect you with an older version of yourself that you have since evolved beyond. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm having a vision of like, you know, a friend from high school coming up to you and being like trying to put this like dead skin on you. And you're like, ew, <laughs> ew, no, I shed that. I molted that years ago. Like, I don't want to wear that, you know? So you're just, um, you'll, you'll know this you may catch this right where people you'll find you'll respond or you'll engage in connections and you'll walk away from it feeling like i don't like who i was or i don't like how i am with that person you know i don't like what that brings out of me that's that's what i feel like is being cued into like they got the you know it's not harmonious it's not harmonious so there's a sense here of you really being supported by the harmonious relationships in your life so that you're able to focus on what you need to focus on and I feel they're okay it's interesting because I'm asking like so what do books and music have to do with what you're focusing on and my angels just said the word enrichment so this truly is a season for you my friend to enrich yourself educate yourself pour into yourself <laughs> what is that is that Def Leppard and Leonard Skinner? Pour some sugar on me. I'm hearing that like, pour some sugar on me. It's like pour into yourself, right? Just like water, water yourself. And this could look like, you know, attending, you know, symphonies and going to performances and getting a little bit of like arts and culture vibe going, you know, or watching documentaries, reading some good books. Um, I highly recommend reading The Hour Before Bedtime. That has been that has been like life changing for me. Um, I got a good tip to like set an alarm to go to bed, so I have an alarm that goes off to go to bed, and then the hour before bed, I do a little a little light reading, and usually I can't finish the chapter. <laughs> My eyes are already closing themselves, so I highly recommend reading before bed. Um, and you can also do what Edgar Edgar Casey did, and he actually slept with the books underneath his pillow, and then just like energetically absorbed the information phenomenal phenomenal stuff but there's something here about you enriching yourself right like you pouring into yourself again i'm hearing arts and culture arts and culture you don't necessarily have to be the one writing the book or performing the symphony like i don't think you have to like take up violin although you might want to you know you might want to <laughs> uh, there might be an aspect of you that i'm hearing that you do want to hold on to okay so that's another vein of message here um, maybe there is an older part of yourself, like maybe you used to p play the cello and you haven't played the cello for a long time. You're like, man, maybe it would be time to like pick that back up again or take some lessons. So if that applies, take it. If it doesn't, do not make it fit. Uh, but there is a sense of you polishing and fine tuning what you know, essentially, like the information that you're taking in. Um, I'm hearing at a higher level there's something about i mean that's been the theme right of you operating at a at a higher capacity now operating at a higher level and there's something here about 
you taking in yeah we did we had that card last week about like conscious consumer there's something where it's like room has been made in your life to now bring in only what serves you and i feel like there's information messages maybe even activation right because i'm sure you've had that experience like you're watching a documentary about egypt and something in you is just like oh my god i lived a past life in egypt like you just know you just know because as you're watching this you're activating it. it's connecting to your akasha your soul is talking to you like it happens right it happens so as you're engaging in literary works or arts and culture or music right as you're engaging in this you know divinely channeled and creative bodies of work or information that has been produced in this earthly realm there's something in that that also has like codes like light codes woven into it that will touch points within you and activate different things within you as you consume this i'm hearing new higher level information i'm hearing grade up it's almost like you're, you're moving up in grades so you have new new study material new stuff to take in and like new light codes to integrate and have activate within you so awesome awesome that's a really sweet message i love it i love it and you know if this is something like you're interested you're kind of in that space where it's like you know what it's, it's autumn time like it's getting cozy it's raining outside and i just want to be inside with a good book or i want to like study something new i want to sink my teeth into something it's time for me to like get academic and just get into some new material I would be delighted to welcome you to our Psy Gym, Psychic Gym community where we do classes every single week where we are learning new skills, new techniques on a myriad of different topics that have to do with tapping into your inherent soul gifts, your psychic abilities, and any potential healing abilities that you have. This is also deepening your relationship with the divine. This is also healing and removing any energetic blockages and energetic residue and residual debris that has been holding you back and hampering you, tampering you down. We deal with it in these classes, in these practice sessions, as we allow our gifts to strengthen and grow. And then some may choose to ultimately move into operating and, and running their own spiritual based business. So offering some services based on their spiritual gifts. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, highly recommend you checking out Psy Gym at Psychic Playground. There is a link in the description below. Or you can start off at the, the jump off point. I have a link in the description below that you can download a free soul gifts chart where you can actually use your dousing abilities to discover your inherent soul gifts, the gifts that your soul brought with you, what you chose to bring with you into this life and use in this lifetime as well as a bonus training that teaches you how to confidently identify what your soul gifts are so that you're not left chasing your tail or feeling lost or lacking direction. So we want you feeling confident, we want you feeling secure, we want you to know who the F you are and what you came here to do and that's what our community is here to do for you, with you. So if that's of interest, links are all below and with that I'm going to leave the reading there for today. I'm sending you guys so much love, I'm so happy to be back with you, I love you all so just so stinking much. I love you all so much. And I'm sending you so much love. See you tomorrow. Bye guys.